Please welcome David Salvador, Aftermarket Channel Vice President for GoGo -Go Business Aviation, the proud sponsor of today's opening session and new product introductions. Well, good morning, industry friends. Good morning. Good morning, industry friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dave Salvador, and myself, along with the entire GoGo -Go team, are very excited to be here to open new product introductions and to welcome everyone back to the first in-person industry show in over 15 months. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Some of the best people that I know are here in Dallas this week. And if you allow me, I'd like to shake some hands, I'd like to get some hugs, and I'd like to reconnect. But first, what's very important is I think we need to recognize the amazing efforts of the Aircraft Electronics Association staff. If it wasn't for their leadership and their vision, this show would have not have happened. So if we could, could we have the AEA staff please stand up and have everyone in the audience please stand up because you've been sitting for a while. And let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. And we also must rec recognize the board of directors, which I've had the honor of being part of for, for many years. Under the leadership of Gary Joyce, the, uh, the board of directors, could we have them please stand up and let's recognize them for their amazing volunteerism, the uh, dedication to you, the members, and of course, the efforts to make our industry better. Thank you. So the pandemic, it, it truly has and continues to change the world. Uh, globally speaking, there's been a huge impact to our industry. Some businesses, some, some companies went out of business. Um, some companies had to endure furloughs. Uh, some companies had to, to do layoffs. And then some members or, or some employees, some colleagues, some families and friends have lost the battle to COVID-19. And if you have lost a family member, a loved one, or a colleague, on behalf of the GoGo -Go team, our heart goes out to you. The, uh, the pandemic has affected everyone in this room in one way or another. And as we start to return to a life of somewhat normal here in the U.S., we need to remember that in other parts of the globe, the, the, there's countries that are still in the throes of this pandemic. And places like India or Brazil or other parts of the country, we wish for them for a very speedy recovery and for their lives to get back to a state of normal. Whoa. I didn't do it, Aaron. I'll stop. Go back, please. One more. There we go. So one interesting development that has come out of the pandemic is really the rise in the demand for connectivity. In some cases, there, we're seeing uh, increases demand of, of over 20% or more uh, for passengers and in, in, in flights year over year. And despite the, uh, the pandemic effect or the, the COVID effect, here, let me speak generally speaking around some statistics. Uh, individuals are consuming more than double the megabytes per flight than they were uh, in 2014. Data usage is actually tripled from 100 megabytes per flight to about 300 megabytes per flight. In 2011, only 4% of the overall addressable market for business aviation had GoGo connected aircraft. That's now 28% in 2021. And finally, there's an average of nine devices that are connected per flight, which is up 80% from 2015. So the needs of our passengers and our, our, our people that use in-flight connect connectivity really uh, are increasing year over year. This is a quote from one of our customers and what they speak to around is the need since the, the pandemic has been going on of video conferencing. 
And by a show of hands, how many people heard of Zoom two years ago? Do you realize they started business in 2011? They came into business in April 2011. So the need for, for streaming and video conferencing is, is huge. In 2019, when we were together in uh, Palm Springs, we talked about the, the effect that uh, our new product, uh, our new platform, the advanced platform has had in the, as our partners, the amount of aircraft that we've connected together. And what I'd like to do is we have a, a little video and give you an update of where we are today in 2021. Play the video, Aaron. Productivity, efficiency, and quality of life. On Monday, we announced, we did press uh, yesterday, about we've reached the 2,000 aircraft that has been connected with GoGo Advance. And we've done that together with our partners from the AEA in less than four years. The press also spoke about, and you saw the numbers in the, um, the video around, there's been over 600,000 flights in less than four years on the aircraft that we connected together with the GoGo Advance system, which is tremendous. So you think about the return on investment for the, uh, the, the aircraft owners and operators that have invested in those products. And also consider the profitability and the business that we've done together in that short period of time and, and connected that many aircraft. So you'd be surprised that some of the things that are really driving data consumption, cloud storage is a huge aspect of it, uh, moving large files back and forth between the cloud. Web browsing, that uses about 60 megabytes per hour uh, to load the compelling content that comes around the web browsing that folks are doing online. And then, of course, streaming services. Google recently announced an unlimited streaming plan, and that was based on the demand for uh, predictability and the cost of data. And they, that can use up to one gigabyte per hour. And then lastly, social media. Um, productivity, efficiency, and quality of life. I'm a big advocate of that in our social media post, and you'll see that if you use LinkedIn, and I'd love to connect with you if you've not done that. I think LinkedIn is a great resource. So what, what does this all mean for the future of business aviation? In-flight connectivity providers like GoGo, -Go, we have a, um, a requirement to continually update and develop uh, our, our networks for deployment. And that need and that uh, requirement for us to do that is based on the demand. Let's face it, the things that you want to do on the ground, our passengers and our uh, uh, crews in the air want to do the same thing. And that all depends on the network uh, and how it adapts to the growing demand. So how is GoGo -Go doing all that? You may have heard of GoGo -Go 5G, which we introduced recently. GoGo -Go 5G is a true 5G system. And the network that we are deploying will have the lowest latency, the fastest uh, connectivity, and it is solely dedicated to aviation. So when you look at a 5G system, it has to be 100% end-to-end 5G. And what I mean by that is, first of all, the hardware that we build for the aircraft has to have a 5G air card in there. The antenna that will go on the aircraft that has to have an element of 5G in the antenna. Our ground radios, also the, the infrastructure on the ground must have 5G. And then finally, the data centers must have core 5G servers uh, in them. Now, is GoGo doing this alone? No, we have some tremendous partners that we've lined up. 
Uh, Airspan is handling the uh, infrastructure on the ground, the network. First RF Corporation is designing the antenna with us. Uh, and then Cisco is handling the data center, centers on the ground. Again, it's important when you deliver a 5G experience to an aircraft, it must be 100% 5G end to end. So the countdown to launch is on for us and uh, our development cycles have been going tremendously fast, which is a good thing. Uh, we have uh, the hardware, which I want to introduce you to the 5G antenna. So for Avance, the Avance L5, this is the antenna that goes on the belly of the aircraft that uh, I mentioned. There's over 2,000 Avance systems. Over 1,000 of those systems that we've installed as partners have this dual directional antenna on the belly of the aircraft. It's also uh, the acronym of DDA. We've designed the 5G antenna, which this is a real one. Uh, this will replace the antenna on the belly of the aircraft. And then the path to 5G is the Avance L5, which has been installed on over a thousand aircraft, so we have an upgrade capability for those. And this is our 5G LRU, which has already uh, been designed and built. So we are very far along as it relates to the hardware. We also have uh, deployed our first 5G tower, and I forgot my clicker. And we're, we're hitting these milestones in our development process, and we're very excited about it. In fact, let's meet Alex Uribe, who is our uh, Director of Network Deployment and Operations. He'll give us a little update on the first tower that we've installed 5G on. Can we run that video? Uh, thanks, Dave. Hello, everybody at the AEA convention. I'm pleased to give you a 5G update. Um, as we get ready to do some prototype testing at a site in Nebraska. Uh, we're also looking forward to deploying our test bed network uh, coming this fall in 2021, and then rolling rapidly right into our full 5G deployment in 2022. So what we're doing in Nebraska is we've received our first two prototype antennas of our 5G system. What we're going to do is hang those antennas on a tower. Uh, we're gonna test out our mounting hardware, our construction processes, and once all of that's in place, we're going to fly an aircraft overhead and transmit a signal to the aircraft and validate our antenna patterns. It's, it's a very exciting test. Um, we're looking forward to the results and, and given the go-ahead to move forward with our deployment. We can take our 14 years of experience in operating an air-to-ground network and take all the lessons that we've learned over that time, whether from our operations, from our construction, from our engineering, from all aspects of, of serving aircraft with an air-to-ground network, GoGo stands in a great position to uh, launch this 5G service for, for air-to-ground. Thank you, everybody. Alex and his team, they're, they're a bunch of Rambos. You wouldn't believe some of the things that they do, climbing towers and uh, putting up networks in parts of the country, you wouldn't be, you, you'd really be amazed, and they're, they're a neat group of folks. Um, I mentioned milestones, and in our, in our quest to bring 5G to market, which, by the way, is our fourth network that um, our company has launched uh, 29 years ago, a small startup company named Aircell became the first or, or uh, got their AEA membership 29 years ago this coming November. And in that time, we've launched four networks, and it's, a, it's an amazing feat, and I couldn't be more proud to be part of this company. But in our milestones for 5G, uh, we've already done an end-to-end -end data call, which means we've taken a, a 5G SIM card, we've connected through the antennas uh, to the antenna on the, the towers, down through the ground stations, out to the internet, and then the reverse path back. That's, we've done that already. The other thing we've done is we have a Beechcraft uh, Baron that we've done test flights on where we've done coast-to-coast -coast traveling with this aircraft to test noise uh, signals and actually look at where we're going to place the rest of our towers in our network. And we have a short video on that too, if we could run that video.
So on the video, you saw that it speaks to the 5G experiences delivered with 64 megahertz of uh, spectrum. And what that compiled of is the four megahertz that we currently operate our, our network on is dedicated in licensed frequency spectrum for business aviation that, that GoGo has. And then there's the 60 megahertz of spectrum, which drive the rest of it. And as we're rolling out this network, one thing to keep in mind is we won't launch the network until we have a full nationwide coverage on it. And that will be our initial coverage. Uh, we will be building out the, the, the basically our test site the remainder of this year, and then come the first half of 2022, rolling out the rest of the network, which then we will uh, go into service in, in the late part of 2022. So we're very excited to, to bring 5G to market. And as I mentioned earlier, the 1,000-plus advanced L5-equipped aircraft that we as partners have installed together, uh, that is the path to 5G. So I showed you the new antenna that will replace the existing Avance L5 antenna, uh, the new LRU that will interface with the existing Avance L5 uh, LRU. And we'd love to have you come by our booth, which is 307, uh, get a chance to reconnect. Maybe I could get that hug that I was asking for at the beginning of the uh, presentation. But thank you, and let's begin 2021's new product introductions. Aero News Network's coverage of the 64th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Dallas, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com.